Okay, so I just got my hair done. Which, do I have color? I feel like I have color everywhere. Um, yeah, a little bit, but oh well. You don't look at my neck. <laughs> and the ink pen bled on me. So, I'm obviously looking fire, but uh, I have gray hair, so. Mm -hmm. When you're out with all the wild rooms, and you're looking for a way back home, I'll be like that only you can see. You can see. But. I just got my hair done and it just worked out so perfectly that my hair salon is literally across the street. Like I literally can see it right there from the container store. So, um, I want to pop in here and get the containers that I need for the fridge and freezer makeover today. I'm so freaking excited for this video. These organization videos are literally giving me life because because our apartment just needs it. So, um, yeah, excited for that. So let's head on in. I have my list and let's pick up these things. Um, we're getting a furniture delivery today. So I'll show you guys what piece of furniture we're getting. And it's a really exciting day here in our Orlando apartment life. So yeah, I'm going to head on in to the container store and pick up everything on my list and then we will head home. Show everybody your new haircut. Look at all those curls. I gave John layers. <laughs> and I cut his undercut. See? You're so pretty. Look at those curls. Uh, obviously, I have made it home. Hello. Surprise. Surprise. Um, and I've got our two very large bags and you're actually resting on one of the things that I've purchased. So I'm going to go through what I got. Jonathan hasn't seen any of this. No. Well, I mean, I'm looking at it now. So, well, no, you don't know what's any of, any, any of it. Okay. Let's start off with the first one. Okay. So these, I had a vision that these were only for like things that we cut up to like snack on. So I got, and they're glass and they like are really suctiony. So it should lock in a lot of freshness. Um, so like not for leftovers or anything like that, but like if we want to cut and prep like bell peppers or whatever to snack on or berries or anything like that. So I have a circle one. got a circle one, and then I got, I think these two are the same size, but basically like small little square oval looking ones. So, Love it. that's what that is. Um, and then I got these little guys pretty excited about them. I realized that Noah was in that frame at all. She like Petrus. Everything in here. Okay. Pretty excited about these guys. I got one for an avocado. 
So it's like a little saver container to like keep it fresh. So if you only use half the avocado, you can put that in there. And then, which I use a half of an avocado more than you do. I feel like these are actually more for me because I feel like when you're gonna eat an avocado, you eat the whole thing. I mean, I'm- Or you share it with me. Yeah. Um, I got one for a lemon. Love. And then I got one for an onion. Very nice. So, those are that. These I bought for you. You'll laugh when you see them. Oh my god. Wow. So I bought two little trays that are built to stack wine bottles. Love it. So when you have like a rosé or chardonnay that you want chilled, you can just slip the bottle in. Love it. Cute, right? Mm -hmm. So I got that. I got the, I, I wanted some containers for the freezer, but I didn't know exactly how I wanted to go about organizing the freezer. So I just picked up a couple things. And if there's anything that we don't like have room for, or we figure out a way not to need, then I'll just return it. But this is a little freezer bin. You have the receipt, right? Yeah, it's in the bag. I think it's in that bag. I lost the last World Market receipt that we agreed that we had somewhere, and then the bags I think all got thrown away, and it might have disappeared forever. Why do we need that receipt? Because we bought business stuff on it. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I mean, we can still write it off. Rip. Just the audit. We can't validate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. <clears throat> So this is just like a little freezer bin that you could stick like frozen stuff or whatever. Like um, frozen meals, like in boxes. And then I got some containers that you stack on top of each other, or you can put them side by side, whatever you want. But they're can bins. Love that. And it's well. little dispensers. So you just will take the can out and they fall to the where they need to be. Get these out of the bag. Um, okay, next bag. I was gonna get like a bunch of like trays and stuff like that, but then I found these boxes where they basically say like, here's a bundle. Mm -hmm. um, so I found this one, it is freezer bins it includes six dividers and it's got built-in handles so it's basically just like a tray where you can like stack packages in so i got that one i got a smaller one that's a little bit different again i didn't know what exactly i needed for the freezer so i kind of was just like oh let me get these two things and then see and then I can put you guys on this one now. Maybe. Here. Maybe not. Oh, wow. Genius. I cannot tilt. Oh, you're such a genius. How do you tilt it? You have to undo this little guy. Yeah. Yep, there you go. Is that a little? Sure. Sure. Uh, so then what y'all were resting on was um, the everything organizer freezer bins and it's a set of four so you can basically like stack them on top of each other or just however you wanted to do it and then the last two things I got are lazy Susans because I thought this was a game changer we can put like the milk and the creamer and stuff and like be able to rotate it instead of having to like take things from the front to reach into the back. And then I figured we might be able to use the second one as well. So, receipt. I'm gonna take this. <laughs> so, that's everything that I got. Did what? Your congratulations, you just earned $10 off with a $50 purchase. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, 
So that's everything that I got from the container store. Um, now I am going to organize all of it and figure out how to do all of this. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I wanted to first off show you guys what our freezer and fridge look like. Now granted, they look, they look, the fridge, the fridge has looked worse, okay? I sent Jonathan a video of a girl basically organizing her fridge, um, like ADHD friendly, like fridge organization, where basically she took everything from the door and like put all the condiments in a drawer. That way the fresh produce wouldn't like go to die in the drawer, you know, how that always happens. Um, so this fridge is definitely, it looks a lot better than what it did. Okay. So don't even look at this fridge and be like, hmm, girl, it ain't even that bad because it was okay. So this is the fridge and freezer. So as you can see, Jonathan put all of the condiments in this drawer, which has been literally life-changing. Do this. Do this. Um, so yeah, this is what we're working with here. And I am gonna try my darndest to organize it. So, I'm going to start off with the things that I know for sure we're going to use, like the wine holders and the drink dispensers and stuff like that, and then I'll start trying to build stuff off of there. Um, there's also a couple things that I want to order from Urban Outfitters, so I'm going to place that order today as well. Um, so this video definitely won't end today um, because I need to order the Urban Outfitters stuff and have it shipped to us. But at least we can get a good bulk of the work done today. That is something that needs to happen. I am done for the most part so I ended up not using the small little freezer container just because I don't think our fridge has enough room for it and I also couldn't fit both lazy Susans in there but I want to use this lazy Susan up here with all of like the spices and stuff so I'm gonna keep that one but I'm gonna return the little freezer thing Jonathan is trying to get the adhesive sticky out of the glass containers that I want to like chop, like pre-chop things in. So that is what that is doing. And um, let me show you guys what the fridge and the freezer looks like. So this is what the freezer looks like. So much better. So much more room as you can see. Um, lots of empty space that we can do things with so I just put the boxes up here we'll use the door for that and then down here it's just like ice packs face rollers popsicle things that we don't use um, so that is what is all kind of like tools in the drawer and then we have all of our meats in this container which is really nice and organized Frozen things, I need to get better containers because I don't want to use these. Um, but for right now, this is all I have. Um, and then I put smoothie stuff in this bin, ice cream that we need to finish. And then there's a whole top that's not being used. So 
that is the freezer and then this is the fridge uh, I love the can dispensers the wine then our water and then down here we just have some high noons and a lazy Susan and some diet cokes and two of these little things that we need to drink just to get rid of it um down here I couldn't fit both evenly but that works like that for now we'll just put like dips and random stuff in there um, and then we have like our milks and creamers and we have this empty section to put stuff in as well dairy drawer pretty much stayed the same hello fresh drawer stayed the same condiment drawer stayed the same and then everything on the door is all the things that we can grab readily that often go neglected so that is what the fridge looks like i love it wow so much better how does that make you feel very positive Use one lazy Susan. Yeah, the other one couldn't fit, so I'm gonna use it up here. It's actually smart. Nice. Look how much like extra room we have that like yeah. we weren't <laughs> weren't using. Like we didn't have that extra room. Everything's so frosted from being open. Literally. Yeah, that'll be perfect up here. Yeah, I Actually, think so too. We could even maybe put it like here with mm -hmm. all the frequently used, and then like the rarely used can hang out up there. Yeah, I so agree. It's more accessible. Yeah. Glad, glad you like. I also wanted to show you guys our table. That's the delivery that I was saying was coming, but we got these like navy leather chairs and this cute little dining table from World Market and we love it a lot. We are excited that we finally have a little dining area. All right friends, it is probably a month later. Um, I wanted to wait and get a couple new things in for the fridge and I also wanted to kind of try and test run the way that we had organized it because I didn't know how practical it would be. I didn't know what we actually needed for our our everyday lives. So it's going to look a little bit different than what you just saw. But overall, we are really enjoying having our fridge organized. It has definitely changed and it's awesome that it's easy to kind of take out container bins, things like that for what we need. But overall, it's really nice that there are things in our fridge that have an absolute, like, spot. Like a designated area. It really makes a difference. And I have been loving the fridge organization. John, have you been loving the fridge organization? Yes. That is what I'm going to show you. Basically, pretty much the finished product of... The fridge organization and the freezer like I said it changes but overall we've kept it pretty standard and we are really loving it so let's take a look so let's start off in the freezer the freezer honestly has not changed that much I did move ice cream up here because it didn't matter if it got super duper cold ice still the same smoothies in this bin I didn't never took the sticker off so maybe I should do that and then I still haven't found a solution for these containers yet so if you have really good containers that are super awesome for freezing things leave that in the comments down below our meats and then the random stuff still in the drawer and then just frozen things in the door So, moving on to the star of the show. Memories, scattered thoughts like shells across the shore. Shine on something
All right, so I wanna start off with the things that have not changed. Bottom drawer, still all of the condiments. Second to last drawer, still HelloFresh meals. Up top, we have our water dispenser, our wine bottle holder, and our can dispenser. We've been only buying Spindrift. It's awesome if you haven't tried Spindrift before. Delicious. The second shelf has kind of become the catch-all. So in here, we'll put leftovers, like my leftover Chipotle, um, some cut up veggies, an extra random high noon, extra kombucha, Halloween cookies we need to bake, egg bites, just kind of like a random catch-all shelf. Down here in the middle section, this is our dairy. We have our bread behind it. We have various dips, and that kind of stays the same. Of course, this kind of changes out depending on what we have in the fridge, but overall, this stays the same. And then, of course, this is the dairy. So butter, cheese. I have cinnamon rolls here for a Christmas video I'm doing. Things like that. The door is where it's at. So this is a new addition. I got these little egg, ceramic egg holders or egg crates. Um, I got these two off of Amazon. They each hold six. So I got two to make a dozen. And I love the elevated look that they give. Um, I like that you can look right here and know exactly how many eggs we have. It's very nice instead of just looking at the carton. And it just makes the fridge look that much organized, that much more organized, that much more clean. So really love these. The next shelf we have is the salad kits and veggies just so they are easy to grab and they don't go to waste. Same for these berries. I got these berry colanders off of Amazon as well. They came in a set of a white one, a pink one, a strawberry one, and then another strawberry one that I'm currently not using. But these are so cute. They give such an elevated look. Yes, I know that <laughs> fruit goes bad quicker when you rinse them, but honestly, having them right here already rinsed and ready to go um, is a game changer for not letting them go to waste because we have no excuse. They're right here, grab, go, and you eat them, and it's a healthy snack, so. And they're gorgeous, so I just laid down some paper towels. Yeah, they're perfect right here on this middle shelf. Right below it, we've got a bag of grapes, our half of onion in our onion container, pickles, bell peppers, and two cucumbers. Again, I like having them in the door. That way they are the first thing that you see front of your mind and easily accessible. And then down at the bottom, I have extra kombucha, protein shakes, and a random float water. That is it for the fridge. It honestly is so satisfying to look at and I love it a lot. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Honestly, mentally, I feel so much better with the fridge like this. It's just a lot more manageable. It is not stressful to look at and I find that we have definitely had less food waste since starting this little organization journey. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment down below. What should they comment down below? It's a good one. Comment down below if cucumbers go moldy in your fridge because they, <laughs> I always let them go moldy and John thinks it's hilarious, but I will say, 
that I have eaten a lot of cucumbers and remembered them now that our fridge is organized this way. So maybe it'll work for you. If that's something you struggle with, leave that in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in my next video and we are just inching closer to Christmas and it just makes my heart so happy. So if you are looking forward to my series, The 12 Vlogs of Christmas, you should hit that subscribe button because it's going to be a good one. So that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. I will see you in my next video. I hope you have a magical day. Wait, wait, wait.